Hello everybody, uh, I'm Jay Vansal and uh, I'm bringing a new Python programming course for you guys which will be a uh, beginner to advanced level course. So in this video I'll be explaining you what uh, the course will look like, what will be the curriculum of the course, what are the current contents, what is the target of audience for this particular course, what are the prerequisites and so on. Okay. So this will be the agenda for this session and I'll be going through everything related to this Python programming course, which I'm bringing on the YouTube channel CodeWords. So yeah, so this, this course, this course is basically uh, a complete package. If you want to learn Python from scratch and uh, I will be assuming that you don't know anything in Python programming. Okay. So if you know C or C++ programming, it is fine. Even if you don't know C or C++ programming, then also you'll be able to start your programming journey from here. Okay. Uh, so mark my words, this course is not specifically for, uh, let's say competitive programmers, or if you want to prepare for interviews. Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll not say that this course is specifically for one set of audience. This course is for anybody who has, a uh, love for programming basically okay so if you want to love uh, if you love programming if you want to learn programming then python can be one of the languages you can start with okay so many a times you might have uh, heard that to start programming you should go with the c programming language first it is not necessary you can start with python language we will see okay so python is an interpreted language and we will see what is the beauty of the python language so even if you have not written a single line of code till now uh, you'll be able to understand everything from scratch that how Python programming language works initially how a programming language works. Okay. And then how Python works and then yeah, how, how can you write small structures? How can you write small piece of codes that act? Uh, I mean that function beautifully. Okay. So yeah, this will be the target for my course. So yeah, uh, the, the, uh, this is the set of contents, uh, that I'll be covering as a part of this course. Uh, firstly, uh, as I'm assuming that you don't know anything about Python, uh, let's say first for first few weeks, uh, two or three weeks, we'll be seeing introduction and basic Python. Okay. That, uh, how basic data types in Python work and, uh, yeah, very basic data structures. How do you implement them? And, uh, yeah, let's say very basic algorithms that we can write very basic functions. Like, like, let's say checking a number is prime or not, even or not and so on. Okay. So it will be fun. Uh, if you already know programming, then also uh, the, I mean, uh, the watching the lectures won't harm you. And also uh, we'll, we'll be having a set of uh, practice assignments as well. Okay. So this entire course will be both theoretical as well as practical. So after every theory session, we will have a demo session in which I'll be live programming in front of you guys. Uh, whatever we learned in the theory session. Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll do one or two programs in front of you and I'll be giving you two or three more problems like that as a part of homework or assignment. Okay. And when and where I'll be up uploading uh, these assignments and what will be the schedule of this course, uh, I'll, I'll make a separate video for that. Okay. That, uh, how can you download the content? How can you download the slides? How can you see the assignments and what will be the complete schedule of the course? I'll create a, se a separate video for it. And, uh, as, uh, as you might have seen my C++ course, I'll be having a Google calendar so that you don't miss my, any of my lectures. So I'll, I'll share a Google calendar link in that particular video so that, uh, you can, uh, you can, uh, basically attach, uh, it to your Google calendar and you won't miss any lecture. Okay. For this course. So yeah, uh, everything will be structured and everything will be for free on this YouTube channel CodeWords. Okay. So for initial two or three weeks, we will have introduction and basic Python. After that, we will see object oriented programming in Python. Okay. And in my C++ classes, I have already covered what object oriented programming means. I will not take much time, but since I am assuming you to be a beginner, again, I'll explain you the concepts, what object oriented programming means and how it applies to Python. So yeah, it will be fun. Okay. So we'll see how Python, uh, is, is different from C++ coming to object orientedness. Okay. And we'll, we'll see it practically again. Okay. By, by implementing classes and various oops features in the Python language. Fine. Uh, uh, after that 
we'll come to error handling in python how python language in in python language how we can handle errors and so on okay the try catch blocks again so yeah after that we will see uh, socket programming networking and creating uh, guis in python okay so this from uh, after error handling you can expect uh, advanced python to start okay so uh, this uh, initial four points which are written in co uh, contents this will take one month uh, but so this this uh, this is this will take one to 1.5 months and uh, 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 till here you can you can expect basic python level okay and you'll be able to understand everything very easily if you already know a, uh, let's say c programming language otherwise you'll have to put some efforts and i'll i'll structure those efforts for you okay what to watch and then what to implement so don't worry about everything just follow me from lecture number 1 that's it and uh, this is basic python till error handling then we will try to uh, use python programming language to do some cool stuff like uh, like socket programming and so on okay so that you know the beauty of this language we will see advanced python concepts as well along with this like advanced data structures how do they work and how to use them efficiently okay so each and every advanced uh, data structure how is it internally implemented in the programming language how programming uh, interpreter how how python interpreter interprets it each and every line of your code so we'll see everything in detail then we will see threads uh, as well in python so how to do multi th multi threading multi threading is best done in java programming language everybody knows but yeah i mean uh, you have multi threading in c++ and in python so since we this course is a complete course in, for python programming we will learn multi threading concepts uh, along with famous interview problems or uh, 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 to be implemented in python language okay so this is about multi threading uh, and even forget about the interviews even if you are a first year student trust me it will be let's say a four month course Uh, and it will be useful for your entire btech life trust me okay so yeah you'll you'll learn concepts which you'll be learning very late in your btech and uh, the, those theory concepts which we learn in this uh, as a part of this python programming course will be very useful in your btech life okay uh, finally we'll uh, after covering every advanced concept in python we'll go to python for data science how can you use python programming language for machine learning artificial intelligence and data science so if you want to pursue a career uh, in in this path okay it is a uh, it, uh, so nowadays uh, this this data science field is growing fast so if you want to pursue your career in data science and uh, even if you don't want to pursue it, it, it is no harm to learn that yeah how you can implement basic stuff so again for when when we see python for data science we'll see basic stuff that how we can use the libraries like numpy pandas scipy what is their beauty and how can we use them efficiently to uh, uh for 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 data science purposes okay so to handle a, a large large chunks of data okay how to manage large chunks of data using python language efficiently so yeah this will be the target so we'll see we'll try to cover each and every aspect of python language and again i'll tell you okay i i'm expecting that you don't know uh, you don't know anything in programming forget about language uh, anything in programming okay so i'll try to make this course in such a way that uh, everybody will be able to understand every word okay and if you already know programming and you find some parts of the course boring then uh, this entire course will be in phases right basic python advanced python networking socket programming creating guis advanced python concepts and python for data science you can join me at any particular phase in the in the journey right and uh, even uh, even if you know some concepts just watch my videos and uh, finish the assignments so that we are on the same page okay so yeah let's let's uh, let's finish this and i promise you uh, Uh, a few projects okay very interesting projects uh, after we learn everything we'll we'll try to uh, i mean complete a one or two cool projects in python programming language as well okay using each and every concept uh, concept which we are seeing okay and i know that a project for c++ programming language is left and i'm working on that as well and uh, uh, as a part of this python programming course i'll be doing project as well okay so it will be cool learning everything in python and then implementing and uh, implementing it on some real life problem right cool uh, so yeah this was about the contents so uh, like shortly speaking uh, it is a complete course it is an exhaustive course for python programming language 
you will not be needing anything any textbook uh, just uh, watching the lectures will be sufficient and programming with me in the demo sessions will be sufficient if you follow me from beginning till end uh, finishing each and every assignment on time and we'll will be discussing the assignment questions in live lectures as well okay don't worry about that then i guarantee you that you'll be i mean a, a pro python programmer at the end so the output is that so uh, what is the target audience okay why should you learn python first question is that so yeah uh, i mean learning programming language is always cool right so anyways uh, if you want to pursue data science or ml trust me python will be necessary okay so yeah because most of the libraries are efficiently implemented in python programming language so definitely you'll need that uh, otherwise also so the cool data structures that we have make it an ease for competitive programmers okay so even i did uh, lots of competitive programming on python python language right so uh, going forward if you want to make python as your primary language in cp there is no harm in that okay trust me so yeah that that uh, you can al always do okay so and uh, uh, actually what what is the benefit of using python instead of c++ in cp i'll tell you uh, the 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 c++ code uh, which is let's say 15 or 20 lines long you can implement the same functionality in python language in two or three lines and we will see this in this course right you will be saving time uh, trust me you will be saving a lot of time while while writing python codes uh, 15 line code in c++ will be equal to three lines of code in python okay and this this piece of code will be beautiful okay so we'll see the power of this language so uh, uh, after the course if you want to do cp and this language will be in inter useful in interviews as well and if you want to pursue a career in data science ml or ai field uh, python programming course will be useful okay so this is the target audience and yeah i mean uh, this is the future scope of this language basically and target audience is uh, strictly speaking will be any beginner uh, level programmer who doesn't know anything in programming even if you know some parts of programming uh, if you want to learn the python programming language this code is good for you the this course is good for you okay and coming to prereqs uh, definitely as i as i told you uh, there are no prerequisites you don't need to know anything just uh, the the only prerequisite for this course is you follow me from beginning till end and you have a lots of enthusiasm and uh, yeah that's it okay and uh, we'll be able to crack it cool uh, so this is uh, everything about the python programming course and if you don't know me uh, i am jav ansel and uh, i am a software engineer at google and uh, uh, i did my masters from iit bombay with a cpi of 9.9 .9, and i am a btech gold medalist as well i secured all india second rank in gate computer science 2019 and all in 39th rank in ACM ICPC 2019 okay these are my credentials and the subjects i take on an academic platform are cp c++ programming languages like uh, c++ and python data structures algorithms everything related to cp and interview preparation okay so if you are a programmer i take many courses for you on an, uh, on an academic platform as well as i take some courses for gate uh, experience as well since i secured all in a second rank in gate computer science i have the experience for gate subjects as well i teach some subjects uh, in gate uh, computer science field as well okay so if you want to take any an academy subscription plus subscription you can use my promotional code jaycp and you'll get 10 percent off on any any subscription okay whether it be cp or or uh, 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 gate category okay so yeah you just use a promotional code uh, for any an academy plus subscription and you get 10% off now why to take an academy subscription for competitive programming i'll tell you the reason for that so uh, every 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 week we will we'll have new batches coming for cp for interviews and for like let's say uh, development okay so now new batches are going to launch on an academy app on, on the same field competitive programming for uh, back end development and system design as well so there is a new batch uh, which on system design which will be on low level and high level design with real uh, real world case studies which is going to be live on 21st june okay so yeah and it will be a two month uh, course just two month course in two months you will be learned, uh, able to learn everything related to lld and hld okay and i'll tell you who the educators are so uh, so stay with me I'll be telling you the educators who are teaching this system design and backend development course 
are all like alumni of top product, uh, product based companies they have the experience uh, the real life experience of how to implement these uh, designing problems uh, or uh, de designing concepts on real life problems in their companies okay so they'll be sharing that and trust me learning the system design and, uh, and development uh, will help you in your interviews right so yeah, uh, these courses are going live. So system design course live on 21st June, backend development course live on 22nd June. And then uh, a computer fundamental course is going to be live uh, on 21st June, which will be a four month course, which will be a master course for operating system concepts, database concepts and networking concepts. Okay. So all these concepts are very important for, from interview point of view. You can ask any programmer placed in any company. The only concepts which are from core computer science, which are asked in any interview are of these subjects. Okay. So it will be a four month crash course for these subjects. And then we have a batch uh, for full stack development. Okay. Both, both front end and uh, back end, which will be four month long. Cool. So now we have new batches. So if you take the CP subscription, you'll have batches for system design, back end development, front end development, everything related to development. Uh, uh, computer fundamentals as well as CP and interview preparation uh, 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 batches. Okay, so you'll have everything uh, at one place, and you just need to buy one subscription, and you'll have access to all the batches. Okay, so whatever your target target is, if you are a programmer, one your one stop uh, one step uh, stop goal will be uh, uh, the an academy platform where you'll find all the batches. Okay. Cool. So this will be the uh, price for uh, an academy subscription. Uh, uh, what I talked about. So if you take 12 months of subscription, it will show you 33,000 rupees uh, for 12 months. And if you use the promotional code, it will come down to 29,700, which is a 10% discount. And for any duration, you you can try and uh, you'll get 10% off if you, if you use the promotional code. Okay. So the prices which are shown in this slide are after using the promotional code. Cool. And remember my promotion code, it is JAYCP, okay? Uh, it will give you 10% off for any an academy subscription. Okay, guys, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, let's start after two or three days. I'll create a video in which I'll be sharing the schedule on this channel. And then I'll start the Python programming journey with you guys, okay? So let's learn together. And uh, since this is a free course, the only way you can uh, show your love uh, is to like, share and subscribe, uh, like and share this video to everybody. So since this is a free content, it should be accessible to everybody. Okay. So yeah, try to make it accessible to everybody. Uh, just promote this channel code words to every programmer, you know, and share and subscribe this video as well. Okay. And subscribe to this channel code words and tell everybody to your friends, uh, whoever uh, is keen. I mean, who, whoever who loves programming to subscribe to the channel code words and many other educators will like me will be Teach, uh, taking more courses like on on programming languages like Java and uh, mathematics and so on. Okay, so we'll, we have many courses, many many free courses also coming up uh, coming up on this YouTube channel CodeWords. So yeah, let's connect together. Let's learn Python together. Let's crack it. Thanks.